make one river. And I looked at him and he said, marriage? <laughs> and I asked Rachel, I said, when did you know you loved Adam? She says, Dad, when he made me this peanut butter sandwich, I knew I loved him. Anyways, now I gotta get my notes on. <laughs> I feel so blessed to be able to be standing here tonight honoring Rachel and Adam's commitment to each other. Our family has had so many blessings. Adding Adam to our family is one of them. When Rachel was born, as some of you know, she had a difficult start. She was born three months early. She weighed just over a pound. My wedding band fit over her hand and wrist. While she was in the hospital for three months, my mother gave me a CD called Butterfly Kisses. The song is about a little girl who grows up spreads her wings, and someday gets married. And here we are today. I would like to dedicate that father and daughter dance tonight to that song. Today, Rachel has proven how determined and smart she is with all her wonderful and incredible accomplishments. I have no doubt Rachel and Adam will accomplish anything they set their sights on. Good game that we had in a, in a group text with Adam, Rachel, my sister, and a bunch of other people. And I was sitting there the other morning and I realized how similar the world is to marriage. Where every morning we wake up and we try and think, how can we make our partner's life better? And how can we make them happier? And we try certain things, and then we wait for the feedback, and we based on, based on that feedback, we then find that it's a good thing, so we keep it for the next day. If it's a bad thing, we reject it and throw it away. Or possibly it's, it's a good thing, but it's the wrong time, or it's a good thing, the wrong location. <laughs> so we keep that in mind, and we keep moving forward. The goal, guys, in the end, is to meet, to meet, to find, to reach your world. I don't think anyone ever has in relation to a marriage, but it's a good thing to keep going in that direction. So, first of all, I would also like one piece of advice be very nice to the person who has access to your toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> May we all raise our glasses in a toast to Adam and Rachel. All the best for the future. Thank you again. Hi everyone, I'm Maya, I'm the maid of honor. Woo! I'm so happy to finally be here today with you all after what felt to me like the longest engagement of all time. I take full responsibility and all the credit for everybody being here today. As some of you may know, I introduced Adam and Rachel, and I like to think of that as my best and favorite accident. I've known Adam since uh, I've known Adam since we were about 11 years old. He had a bowl cut and he wore transition lenses. Woo! Yeah. As we got older, we got closer, and he became a pretty important person in my life. And somebody that I have always been able to count on, no matter what. I met Rachel in what felt like the first five minutes at NYU. Everybody says this, but I knew right away that we would be friends forever. We shared a lot of crazy experiences with a lot of crazy people, and always stuck together, making sure to debrief and confirm with each other that it was everybody else that was crazy, <laughs> never us. We can do no wrong. <laughs> Rachel's my closest and most favorite person in college, which is why when I was planning a visit to my most favorite person from high school, it was a no-brainer to bring Rachel along. Literally a no-brainer. 
I put no active thought into it. <laughs> I have no alternative. <laughs> it turns out, I'm not as smart as my parents have always told me that I am. <laughs> Rach came along with me to Boston to stay at Adams for the weekend. They have literally never stopped talking since. <laughs> and nothing has ever made more sense. Knowing them separately and seeing them together now, it's crazy to think that I didn't arrange this on purpose as some sort of crazy grandmaster scheme. Rachel and Adam are perfectly matched for each other. They grew up pretty differently, different culture, different parts of the country, different everything. And yet they speak the same language. They understand each other perfectly, their needs, their wants, and their goals. They both prioritize personal growth, both as individuals and as a couple, as professionals, as people, and as each other's person. They support each other and have helped each other grow every single day of the six years they've been together. From college kids to fully functioning adults with fancy and important jobs helping people and doing good for the world. Adam and Rachel are a unit. They're unified on all fronts. Even when they disagree, they agree. Whether it's the big stuff, like values and how to lead their lives, or even bigger stuff, like how many crock pots Rachel is allowed to bring into their home. No, the answer appears to be nine, ten. I'm hearing ten over there. They know in the grand scheme of things, they have each other's backs no matter what. This is why I'll always tell this as one of my greatest accomplishments, even though I put no active thought into accomplishing this. Now, I don't know anything about marriage, but from crowdsourcing and from knowing you both, I pulled together a few pieces of advice. Broadly, you're apparently supposed to listen to each other, have patience, don't go to bed angry, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Specifically, Adam. Don't leave Rachel alone for long periods of time, because she'll put the ice cream in the fridge instead of the freezer, and then it melts and she gets really sad. Don't do that, Rachel. Buy pies very often, but let Adam have some. You can't finish them yourself. Adam, buy Rachel a popcorn maker. The older and larger and more space it takes up, the better. Yes. And Rachel, never interfere with Adam's ability to take literally one hour long showers. Maybe consider getting a house with two separate showers when you can shower at the same time. And both of you, make sure your, my room in your house is very comfortable and has a lot of pie. So from here it's pretty simple. I already did the hard part of getting you guys together. So now I just have to follow these steps, and now I know you'll have a lifetime of happiness. So everybody, please raise the glass to Rachel and Adam, the best man on my resume. Bye. that have been in college know that the first few weeks are full of novel experiences, adjustments, and perhaps most importantly, new people. In that sea of new faces and slightly awkward introductions, Adam immediately stood out. His palpable warmth, disarming smile, and genuine kindness was a breath of fresh air. Without knowing so much as my name, he immediately invited me to some plans he had that evening, and the rest, as they say, is history. With the help of far too many gallons of cheap sangria, some living conditions that were almost too intimate, <laughs> and countless all-out wars on the ping-pong table, what began as a freshman year friendship blossomed beautifully into a brotherhood. And so, when we welcomed a mysterious visitor into our small, slightly dingy Columbus Avenue apartment one evening. It was with a full heart that I witnessed my best friend click instantly with the girl who would eventually become his wife. The telltale signs of a real connection were there from the beginning. Effortless conversation, evident physical attraction, and yes, even back then, Rachel laughed at all of his jokes, <laughs> no matter how corny they were, and trust me, they were corny. <laughs> but I really knew there was love brewing when one evening, while the two were cuddling during an in-house viewing of the classic 
romance movie Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Rachel's hand make its way to Adam's foot. Oh my god. <laughs> and interlock her fingers no, not with my his choice. toes. Not my No, 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 no. Yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> she was holding hands, holding feet, <laughs> with Adam on the first weekend we met. If that's not true love, I don't know what is. But in all seriousness, after spending time with the two of them that weekend and sensing the energy they had between them, I had a feeling that they would get married one day. And after a significant period of long distance, a move to Washington, D.C., a master's degree, new jobs, and all the challenging and joyous moments their six-year journey has given them, my feeling is now turning into a reality. Rachel, I've seen Adam grow from an outgoing, hilarious, goofball of a boy to a wise, responsible, and mature man by your side. <laughs> <Still a good ball. laughs> your compassion, wisdom, kindness, and patience has helped him flourish and evolve into the accomplished and dignified human being he is today. I am so grateful and at peace knowing that Adam is a solidifying partnership with a woman of such high quality and admirable character. I guess his feet couldn't have smelled that bad, right? <laughs> so let's raise a glass to celebrate Adam and Rachel. I know that there's nothing this world can throw at you that you can't overcome together. I love you both with all my heart. Cheers.
Rachel, thank you for making him so happy, and I hope you guys have the most wonderful life together. I love you guys. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> Cut. Bring the beat back. Hold on, you have to give me a sec.
happy to have you as a brother-in-law. Rachel can be difficult, and we all know it. For me, you're a saint. Thank God for Adam, and congratulations. You're up. All right, you two. Love you, no matter what happens from here on in. We got your back, whatever you need from the Uncle D. I got you, okay? I love you two together, and I think that you just have to remember that times are tough. You just have to remember all the good in each other, and love each other You guys are the best dancers out there, without a doubt. Obviously wanted him to stay in Boston, but I'm 
so glad and we all knew that he should move to DC, be with Rachel, and you guys should blossom this relationship that was obviously meant to be. Um, and I'm so glad you guys did. Today was like so heartfelt and so meaningful. And I honestly teared up so many times. And I'm just so happy you guys found each other. And you both are just such kind, thoughtful people. And um, have a great, you know, life together. <laughs> And I love you both so much. So. And you were the best dancer there. And I was the best dancer. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm also at the end of the wedding, obviously. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Love you both. Bye. Okay, you're up. Congratulations. It's so wonderful to be here. Uh, muscle toe. Adam, congratulations. Muscle has been an incredible journey. Very happy that we have been the absolute kings of the kids' table. Don't worry about talking over each other, it's all good. We love you! <laughs> Rachel and Adam, I just coming from Adam, I just want to say congrats on your wedding. It was a beautiful wonder night. I, I think it was great. I think it went perfectly. Wishing you a lifetime of happiness and congratulations again. Hi sweethearts, Adam and Rachel. I'm glad you had a visit to our birth country. And I just miss you all so much. Good luck for the future. Love you, miss you. Granny Mary. Bye.